Aloha my friends, Christina here and I'm so happy to be back in a new video with you today to share with you the best one ingredient juices to help save you money and time when batch juicing. I've made a video before here on my channel on batch juicing, explaining what it is and all of my tips and tricks involved in batch juicing. And I've had so many questions about batch juicing since then that I decided to make a follow-up video for you. For those of you who haven't seen the previous video, I'll go ahead and I'll link it below for you so you can check it out. It's a great resource that you can have, a free resource. I've also linked below for you one of my free eBooks called A Beginner's Guide to Juicing that shares with you my favorite items to juice that will also save you time and money. It includes the best items to juice for a most nutritious, easy, delicious juice that's also cost-effective and also the worst things to juice, things that don't yield a lot that will cost you more money. I've gone ahead and included the link for that free ebook in the description below for you. So for those of you who would like to access it as a free resource, it's there for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the top follow-up questions from my previous video. The main one being, what are the best ingredients to batch juice? Which ones will save you the most time, money, and effort? And I've gone ahead and I've put my own little twist on this and I've decided to make it even more simplified. What are the best one ingredient juices that you can enjoy, that you can save in your fridge, use as a staple, and maybe even perhaps mix with other ingredients so you can have your own little alchemy juice kitchen happening at home. For those of you who are into batch juicing or doing juice cleanses, this will be a game changer for you. Even for those of you who are just starting to learn on your juicing journeys, this video will be filled with a lot of tips and tricks that will help simplify your journey and hopefully make this more enjoyable for you. For those of you who are new here or beginners to juicing, you might be asking yourself, what is batch juicing? And essentially batch juicing is making a lot of juice at one time to enjoy so that you can not only enjoy it for a feast, but also to have juice to store and to drink throughout the week or for the next couple of days. So instead of just making one 32 ounce jar of juice, when batch juicing, you might make four, five, 10 jars of juice at a time. Batch juicing is essentially where you make a copious amount of juice during one juice session. Those of you who know me know I'm a big batch juicer. I like to make a lot of juice at once so that I always have fresh juice to enjoy, usually for breakfast every day. I used to juice every morning until I got a different juicer that was made to batch juice and that kept my juices fresher longer. You can't talk about batch juicing and not talk about having the right or proper juicer to accomplish batch juicing. And I have a Nama J2 juicer. This is the best juicer out there on the market to batch juice. And I love it because not only can it make a lot of juice at one time, it's made for batch juicing essentially, but I also love it because it has this wide open hopper where you can add in whole ingredients at a time. I can add in a whole orange, I can add in a whole peeled pineapple, and so much more. I can close the lid, walk away, and when I come back, fresh juice is made for me. It's so simple, it's so easy. This juicer was made for people like me who like to juice a lot, who like to drink a lot of juice, and for people who don't wanna spend that much time in the kitchen. It saves you time, money, and effort when making juice, and this cold-pressed, slow juicer yields you the maximum amount of juice with the driest pulp, and also helps your juices to last longer. The juices do not oxidize as quickly. This juicer is a game changer. It's the one I have in my kitchen, the one I love and I use for batch juicing multiple times a week. If you're looking to get into batch juicing or if you're looking for a new juicer, this is the one I love and recommend, the Nama J2 Juicer. You can get $55 off the Nama J2 Juicer by using the code FULLYRAW55 at checkout and I've included that link in the description below for you. I used to whip out my juicer and make fresh juices every morning. Now I whip out my J2 juicer and I juice three times a week, maybe twice, and I batch juice. So 
I'm actually making and drinking more fresh juice now than I used to because it's so easy to make batch juice with the Nama J2. So batch juicing has actually been a great way for me to get more nutrients via juicing into my daily routine and it's just been so easy. It has made this so much easier for me. When you get up every morning to make juice and then you have to clean the juicer, doing that every day can become tedious. And there's a huge difference between doing that every single morning versus having to do it twice or three times a week. So that's one of the reasons why I love batch juicing. It just makes it so much easier. And when you have the right juicer that can do it, you're drinking more juice at the end of the day. It's less effort for more abundance. I'm all about that. So there are mainly three reasons why I wanted to make and share this video with you. And the first reason was to share with you my biggest tip on how to save money by buying in bulk for batch juicing. My second tip was to share with you my top five items that are easiest to batch juice that will save you time and money. And the third reason I wanted to share this video with you was to share with you how you can take those five individual batch juiced ingredients and how you can easily combine them with other things to have more juice alchemy in your kitchen and to create combinations that you love anytime. So let's start with what I like to consider the most important tip and the first reason I wanted to make this video to share with you, and that is my tip on how to save money in buying bulk. Now, when I share with you my top ingredients that are easiest to batch juice, you'll also find that these ingredients are actually the least expensive to buy in bulk. Now, what does that mean? When you become an avid juicer like me, I don't just go to the grocery store and buy seven apples. I don't just go to the grocery store and buy one watermelon. I don't just go to the grocery store and buy one pineapple to juice. I like to buy by the case. When I lived in Houston, I ran my own produce cooperative called Roughly Organic. And one of the reasons I started it is because I realized that you could get case discounts or buy in bulk and get a huge percentage off of these cases, spend way less money and get more abundance from these. My biggest tip right now would be if you haven't become a bulk buyer of produce yet, go to your local farmer's market, find a local organic distributor in your area and start asking them what cases of organic produce they have that are either on sale or that you can buy, what you have access to that will help you buy in bulk and save money. What's cool about this is let's say you go to the grocery store and you buy a case of apples there will be approximately 60 to 100 apples in that box. You can either save those apples and juice them throughout the next couple of weeks because when you get into batch juicing, you use more produce, or you can share them with a friend and encourage them to get healthier as well. I find that when most people get into batch juicing and buying in bulk, they go through these cases way quicker than they think that they will. 100 apples is not that intimidating when you're using 20 apples to make a batch of juice, right? That means, hey, the next couple of weeks, you're set with a huge box of apples, you've saved a lot of money doing it, and you're living in abundance. You don't have to make multiple trips to the grocery store. So that's the first tip I wanted to share with you. Start buying in bulk. Search out resources in your area where you can buy by the case and save money. Call and ask around to see what options are available for you. At the very least, you can go to your local grocery store and ask them what organic cases they have available for you. Most grocery stores will discount their cases by a certain percentage just because you buy the whole box. That's a big money-saving tip. The second thing I wanted to share with you were my top five ingredients that are the easiest to batch juice because they yield so much, because they're typically less expensive to buy at the grocery store in bulk, and also because they store really well in the refrigerator, they'll last longer in a sealed tight glass jar. They typically just yield so much juice and it's easy to not only batch juice them or make copious amounts of them, but also these juices taste amazing as one ingredient juices, meaning you don't have to worry about 
having a recipe or having a formula or mixing them with something else. You can just juice these one ingredient items and make a juice out of them and enjoy. Game changer, game changer. Because when you think about it, there's really no easier way to juice than by just juicing one thing at a time and enjoying that one ingredient at a time. It does not get more simple than that. Oftentimes, I go back to the basics and my mind is always blown at how easy it is to find success on this lifestyle. One ingredient juices that are easy to make and quick to enjoy, they're hydrating, they have everything you need. It's so fun as well to be able to go back to the basics. And oftentimes when we think that things have to be complicated, they can actually be more simple and we can have more success when we simplify things. My first favorite one ingredient item to juice, most of you can probably already guess this, is watermelon. So many of you know that I love juicing watermelon. You know that I love watermelon in general. It's one of my favorite fruits. But watermelon specifically is so easy to juice and it's easy to get a lot of juice from one watermelon. You can make copious amounts of juice from one melon. I often get at least four 32 ounce jars of juice from one watermelon, sometimes more. And you can typically buy a giant watermelon at the store for less than $10, especially when they're in season. So imagine you can yield at least four 32 ounce jars of juice for under $10 most of the time. Not to mention, watermelon juice tastes amazing on its own. It's easy to store in the fridge, so refreshing, it'll last for days, and when you wanna mix it up, you can just squeeze in some lime or lemon. You can even infuse in some basil or mint leaves whenever you want to mix it up. My number two is pineapple. Now, my number two and my number three came really close, but I chose to do pineapple as number two because not only does it yield a lot of juice and pineapples are typically very inexpensive on the mainland, but pineapples are so good to drink on their own. It is so easy and delicious to drink fresh pineapple juice. Just recently, I was able to get my hands on some sugarloaf pineapples here on island and juicing pineapples alone, especially these sugarloaf pineapples, is one of my favorite things to do. It feels like I'm drinking liquid honey or something. It's just delicious. Not to mention, this is a great source of fuel for your body. It's rich in carbohydrates and other vitamins and nutrients. If I ever want to add in a squirt of lime or lemon or mix it with fresh coconut water, it's so easy to do. Oftentimes, my first juice of the day is pineapple juice, and that's just because it's so easy for me to find here. It's so sweet and delicious, and it's easy to juice. I also want to tell you that most juicers can't juice pineapple very easily. That's another reason why I love my Nama J2 juicer is I've never seen a juicer juice pineapple like this. Oftentimes when you juice pineapple, it gets stuck in your juicer, it gets sludgy, it gets backed up, it doesn't yield that much juice. The Nama J2 juicer yields so much pineapple juice and it's just incredible. I've never seen a juicer do pineapple like the J2. My number three is cucumbers. Cucumbers yield so much juice and you can pretty much find organic cucumbers anywhere, whether at the farmer's market, grocery store, organic distributor, you can easily find cucumbers and their water content is so high that they just always yield a lot of juice. You can make a lot of juice very easily by throwing some cucumbers into your juicer and cucumbers are so refreshing and hydrating. If you have a hard time drinking water, drink cucumber juice instead. It's incredible. Not to mention, you can also squeeze in a lime or lemon into your cucumber juice to mix it up. You can mix that cucumber juice with your pineapple juice if you ever wanted to do that as well. Cucumber juice is just a winner. The reason why I chose apples for my number four is because apples are so easy to access and typically they yield a lot of juice and this juice is sweet and it's easy to drink on its own. My favorite apples are Fuji apples or Honeycrisp apples. I don't like to usually juice Gala apples because they're a bit more mushy and can be 
harder to go through any juicer. And if you wanted to spice up your apple juice, you can easily add in a little bit of ginger or turmeric in your apple juice as well. Apple juice is a great base to have in your fridge if you ever wanted to make a different type of juice to have on hand. So if you wanted to make a green juice but didn't want it to be so green, you can always just pour some of that apple juice in there or you can drink the apple juice alone as is. But apples are a great base to have for any juice that you're making and it's easy to access them and get them in bulk. So I'm a big fan of apples being a one ingredient juice or a one ingredient base. My number five is grapes. <laughs> Not very many people talk about juicing grapes but they're insanely delicious to juice and there's so many benefits to juicing fresh grapes. Grape juice stores wonderfully in your fridge and it's so much fun to buy a case of grapes and to just throw them in your juicer. One of my favorite combinations is just grapes and kale. I call it the holy grail. Uh, or you can even do grapes and cucumber if you have a jar of grape juice and cucumber juice. Separate, you can always mix them together and that combination is fantastic. But grape juice is my number five because it's such a fun and different one ingredient juice that you can enjoy. So we've got watermelon, pineapple, cucumber, apples, and grapes. And even though those are my top five and the ones that I love to juice as one ingredient items, there are so many other ingredients out there that you can batch juice individually. A lot of people like to do celery, a lot of people like to do cabbage, there's pears. I invite you to find what is most abundant and in season in your area to be able to juice it as a one ingredient item to save the most money and to be able to access it easily. That is gonna vary for everyone based upon where you are located. I've also talked more about the benefits of juicing those items in my free ebook, A Beginner's Guide to Juicing, that's included in the description for you. So if you want to learn more about the nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals in those and in more other items that you're juicing, that's included in my free ebook for you. So the third thing I wanted to share with you is how to create more juice alchemy in your kitchen. Now this is where it gets really fun. Having one ingredient juices in your fridge doesn't have to be boring. You can actually get really creative with this. Something that I have learned is that if I have multiple different one ingredient juices that are in my fridge, I can actually take these juices and make my own mixtures or combine them to make delicious juice combinations later on. For instance, if I have cucumber juice in my fridge and I have grape juice in my fridge, I can mix them together and make a delicious grape cucumber juice. I don't always have to drink one ingredient at a time. I can sometimes if I want. I can batch juice one ingredient at a time to make my life easier and then I can mix it with another one ingredient thing that I've batched from before or whenever. It becomes so much fun when you start batch juicing and you have different one ingredient items in your fridge and you just start making alchemy. This really opens up people's minds to have more freedom in the kitchen, to be more expansive, to have more fun making creations, as opposed to being so rigid about a recipe, being afraid to get it wrong. It's not about that. This is about abundance, wellness, health, freedom, having fun in the kitchen, making juice. And I, I hope that that's a tip that you find to be interesting. Not very many people do that, but I've recently come more into the space of mixing my one ingredient batch juice items and it's become a game changer for me. So I hope that that's a tip that you enjoy as well. I hope that you have learned something new today. I hope that you've taken away a few different nuggets that you can apply to your own juice routine, something that might save you time, money, or effort, and that also might inspire you to get juicing. If you have liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there is only more juiciness to come. If you're interested in getting a new juicer, definitely check out the Nama J2 juicer and you can use the code FULLYRAW55 at checkout to get $55 off my favorite juicer and I've included that link below for you. Don't forget to download the free ebook that I have mentioned here in the video for you and for those of you who are looking for more raw vegan recipes, you can download my Fully Raw Vegan Recipe app. There are more than 450 raw vegan recipes 
in my app waiting for you to enjoy. It's available on iTunes and Google Play, and those links are also in the description below for you. All right, my friends, I'm gonna go and enjoy some freshly made juices, and I hope that you get to go and do the same. Thank you all for being on this journey with me. Sending you all my hugs and my love. Bye.